Those lack of heart tokens. It breaks your heart. I'm sorry. Uh, level two. Let's go. Ripple Field. Are these like the same names as other places? Because I remember them vaguely. We ate the fish. Or the fish ate us. Oh, they're fighting over who gets to suck us. <laughs> okay, the only one we haven't used yet is the bird. So next time we have an opportunity for that, we will definitely use them. I've already forgotten the name. I know you guys told me, but... I'm just gonna say its name is Cheapy. <laughs> I love this art style so much. So cool! Oh geez. You would you would be angry been beaten by a pink bully for years. Yeah, I know. I want there to be a game where Wispy Woods is treated nicely. What the fruit? That was creepy looking. I don't like his arms being spread out. <laughs> he just rides a little cheapy. Kirby, you don't need any of these flying characters. Like seriously, you can fly on your own. And this guy's so teeny. Poor baby. We throw a water bucket. They're so cool. So many cool ideas. Like it has an explosion effect. Cool. Uh, hold on. Text message. Uh, okay. Just other stuff. So apparently, Poultra doesn't die in the movie, but in Jimmy Neutron TV series, there was one era special called The Egg Pirate Strikes Back, where they still kill Poultra because chickens can't burp and she explodes. That's a graphic image. <laughs> but yeah, I do remember the TV special where Goofa comes back and everything. Ooh. Yeah, the pause art was super cute. Oh, jeez. Oh, come on. Remember when I said I should stop rushing everything? Was it GameStop texting about deals? No. It was like a just an alert message being like, stay inside. Like, okay. The first time I had to go grocery shopping during the um, lockdown, I got a text saying like, you need to stay inside. I'm like, how do they know? <laughs> it was just, just very convenient timing. I don't know if it actually tells like with your GPS it knows where you live and if you're not there it's just like get back inside uh, let's head up here Oy. that and that I was actually I tried to call GameStop the other day even though I knew I knew it wouldn't do anything because I was like looking up everyone else's messages and their experience with like trying to contact them about like what happens if my GameStop is just shut down entirely? How could I get my pre-order? I knew I wouldn't do anything, but I just wanted to give it a try. I was on hold for two and a half hours and I never got anyone. My phone died before I could get to someone. Speaking of dying, sorry flower. Uh, you got a little water bottle soda thingy. And ever so conveniently, like, when I was on hold, they were, they give you, like, little advertisements of games that have come out. And, of course, Persona 5 was one of them, so I just had to keep hearing about the game I can't play. Two hours later. Yeah, basically. Uh, we'll take Needle. Or Parasol, excuse me. We got some coconuts. Ouch. Exploding coconuts. I hate it when my nuts explode. Okay. It's crazy to think there's only two Kirby games left after like how long I've been wanting to do this. It's almost over. So sad, pandas. But after this, though, we've got a lot of exciting things coming up. It's the last day of March. I'll just leave it at that. Where where do they want me to go? Down here? Hello! I figured that out all by myself, Nightshade. Are you proud of me? Going 
here. The fish! I need the fish. Oh, but the octopus. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Octi. I like the fish. I like both of you. These two are like my favorites. Why do they make me choose between my two greatest loves? We have a better track record in Dreamland 2, so yes. <laughs> Get it. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. I just say like this the entire time. Be like, oh, oh. Hi, Rex. Welcome to the stream. Let's head over here. I just think I love this thing. Oh, we could have had fried calamari or something. Got the fire. Ooh, it's a try to right now. Sound like an earthbound sound effect when you heal. I was like, blah, blah, blah. uh, do you want the fish? You don't want the fish, or do you want a parasol? Maybe he wants a parasol. My two greatest loves, sweet Mrs. Puff, and the rest of me money. So if you stacked up on iron, show up before 7 p.m. Time yourself for good bells. I just got the Able Sisters to move in my town, and I'm so stinking happy because those are like my favorite characters. And I just uh, set up the construction thing for some stairs. I don't want either of you, really. <laughs> I don't like how they make me feel so guilty whenever I choose someone else. Uh, also, I have a uh, flick in my town, so I was able to finally sell all the sink and tarantulas I had in my, like, just stacked up in front of the museum. Right now, I'm trying to get the five star rating to start up the KK concert. And uh, right now, I have, like, a one star review on my island. I need to get it up to five stars. Animal Crossing is definitely not for everyone. I am a bit worried that I'm going to fall out of it soon. But. The, my benefit is playing with friends, and that definitely increases its fun factor, but you still have to enjoy games where you just exist and do nothing. And I do to an extent, but for a game like Persona, you have a world where you exist, and yeah, but you're not doing nothing. You're always doing something, and it's building up to something a lot greater. Uh, no, I forgot Gooey was in this game! I completely forgot! I accidentally pressed the A button. We could have had Gooey. Guys! Guys, if there's no Gooey... You let me know about it. I need to have Gooey here. I completely forgot. I pressed A by accident. And then he just showed up. It's his game. I completely forgot it was his game. Because I was too obsessed with this art style. Y'all. Y'all need to tell me these things. We, we need Gooey. Can you imagine, like, a kid just playing this for the first time and never pressing the A button so they never know that Gooey exists, but then, like... You tell them when they're older and they're just like, what? Just saw Gooey today? No, I, I know what you're talking about. Oh, is, is that our bird friend? No, it's not. <laughs> it was Wayne in this game. It been a good time for Wayne. Uh, do you give me Wayne? No, Gooey! Darn it, Gooey. I like how he just runs for us like, Aah! you forget Lord Gooey? Oh, I'm sorry, fish. Uh, how do I... Oh, I just leave Rick underwater. Sorry, Rick. See you later. Oh, jeez. He shoots out sinking laser beams. Get those, get a maximum tomato. Oh no, oh no. There's a tiny shark. 
You know, likey. No, no. Oh, thank you, Gooey. Gooey did it. He saved me. He got the one up for me. Now we're trapped in here. Drown Rick. <laughs> Poor Rick. Uh, there's an eel. Hello, I'm an eel. Which jar is he in, guys? It's this one. Oh boy. Incoming. A bunch of messages that I don't want to read. There we go. Uh, do I get my little rainbow doohickey? Or is that just for funsies? Guess we're going back down. Let's see. Got that. Gooey, what even are you? Imagine if Epic Yarn Gooey was the main character. So originally it's gonna be Prince Fluff, who's gonna be his own game, but then they showed it to Nintendo and they're like, put Kirby in it, then people will buy it. <laughs> it was like, okay. And of course Kirby just took over. Yeah, this is the cutest Kirby game ever. Gooey is definitely shaped like a friend. Friend shape is my favorite shape. Get in here, thank you. Jeez. Had too many crush deaths already. Oy. It's not like the first time they did Star Fox Adventures. We got the right friend, apparently. I did it. This is weird. What? We got a little star. A little star. Let's head to this area next. It wasn't about kind, but it's always about kind. AKA the fish. What do we got? Oh boy, a lot of doors. Uh oh. Stinky. Oh, they're gonna give us options. Oh, I love I love the octopus though. And I guess kind's just gonna be in the middle one now. Kirby just looks so unamused at everything. You think Kirby's like getting his brain sucked out or something like that? Because he's just like, hey man, have you tried out these cookies or something like that? Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh, come on. All of these doors are fake. Every single one. And, God darn it. Guys, you didn't remind me about Gooey. He could have been saving me this whole time. All of them? I tried it. It's not balls. <sighs> if there's ever a time where Gooey isn't, I'll just spam the chat with Gooey! Gooey! I could kill Gooey. That's unfortunate. Taking Choo Choo for a spin. Taking Choo Choo to die, unfortunately. 
We got an auto scroller. Getting kind of sick of these auto scrollers in the Kirby games, honestly. Oh no 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 no! Also, excuse me? Did you guys see that? That stinking Kirby clone up there? That was skewy. What was that all about? Let's see if we can make it back up here. Is Kirby the real final boss? Let's find out. So we don't get to see it. Was that just an Easter egg or something? See that extra Kirby? Ouchies. That guy definitely has a power up. You better give it to me, Gooey. Gooey, you jerk. It's too small for respawns. It's so bright now. It is bright now. Ouch. Gooey, you're becoming less friend shaped and more nuisance shaped. What are all these missions you're talking about? There ain't no missions. It's This game is easy. I could just finish it so quickly without doing anything. Did I get hurt by getting hurt? Surely not. Oh, I need to sacrifice HP to give Gooey life. Well, that's something. Hello, frog. Goodbye, frog. Give me... a star. Oh, we also got what Gooey gets. That's cool to know. Oh, okay, we definitely need the bird friend for this one. If we could find him. My little cheapy. Cheapy, cheapy! Frog does look dumb with everything. Uh. Gooey, you're gross. Oy. And we're good. I made it through a water segment with currents without dying. It's a Christmas miracle. And we got the fish. Like we're getting the water level out of the way first. Or the water, yeah, level. Because hopefully that means we won't have a bunch of water stages in the future. But we probably will. Found my spirit animal, some random frog in Kirby. Uh, let's go for it. Tag your soul. I am Kirby when he's got the jellyfish on his head. Oh, you need like a triple whammy slammy for this. I can't bring my fish? No! Why do they do this to me? Always making me strip my friends away. Does have a Rugrats feel to it, kinda. Are you kidding me? I.
Hello, Score Bunny Rebu. Welcome to the stream. I saw a little doorway down here. Which leads me to believe we might find a friend. Uh, are you a friend? You look rather... not friend-shaped. And sorry that my other friend kind of killed you just then. Try again. Jerk. You get fire. Cool. Uh, so yeah, this is just a shortcut thing thingy. I don't think it's super necessary because we were able to get there, right? <laughs> Get a very tiny burst. I like how you can use all of the power ups underwater. In this game, at least. There's our tomato. Let's go. Get that. And hey, we're good. Oh, there's a door. There's a door. Oi! I probably could look at Kuhigu's gyrating. Ah, it's not gonna work. Oh! Breaking the little pathway would have allowed us to get kind through here because he couldn't fit through the top path. And then we'd be able to go in that door, and that's probably where the star is. Okay, gotcha. I know how video games work sometimes. Except for right now, apparently. Where's the pathway? We've got, like, no enemies to use this lollipop on. That was kind of a waste. Oh god, did I go through here already? There's a star, so I'm gonna guess no. But I'm skipping it, so I might have. There's a door, so maybe not. Oh, now there's no door, so I hope I went the right way. Gooey, you were literally just. <laughs> okay, sure. See you later. I can just recreate you, but it costs more health. Oh, we shouldn't have done that. This is no joking matter. Oy, 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 oy. So much pain. Oh, don't hurt me. We're so close to the end, I feel like. Come on. Yes, thank you. I don't know where the fruit the bird was supposed to be, but whatever. Gooey, <laughs> what the fruit? We got another level! Sorry I sound so sleepy. I have been sleeping super well since all this stuff has started happening. We got some crabs. Ooh, look at all the friends! We got three to choose from. Let's go with the birdie. It turns into a little fireball. Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. 
I need the bird. Well, it's good thing I got it. Small bird. Hadouken! <laughs> the bird tries so hard. I love a little cheapy. <sighs> Mr. Bird has entered chat. <laughs> Thoughts on Miss Bird for a second. I was like, Miss Bird's here? It's a friend of mine. He's a... no, they're not. Hey, Gooey, how about you go in the one on the bottom so we get both in? No? Okay. Um. Oh. Oh, yeah. Speaking of our culture, Rex, uh, just wanted to let y'all know Today is the last day you could get Code of Princess on the 3DS eShop. It is going to be taken down after March 31st. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Code of Princess is another one of my favorite games of all time. It's probably my guilty pleasure game, the game that nobody knows about, but I obsess over it. Because everyone has to have a game like that in their life. And it is a really stinking amazing game. It's got amazing stinking music, hilarious stinking characters and dialogue, and... Also, just really addicting gameplay. It's a hack and slash sort of dealio with some RPG elements, but it's not overwhelming in the slightest. It's very simple and it could be very quick if you just want to get through the main story, but it could go on for longer if you want to get good with every single character. And the 3DS version is the only version that has an English dub, which I think is outright required if you want to play this game for the first time, because it is stinking amazing. I just do the exact same stinking thing. Okay, cool. I don't know if you're trolling Nightshade or if you actually wanted me to repeat it. Uh, Code of Princess is going to be taken off of the 3DS eShop uh, today. So this is your last chance to get it. It's $15. And um, the Switch version does have better graphics, obviously, and uh, better sound and whatnot. Uh, but the 3DS version, it has the English dub and also it allows you to customize the stats of your characters. So if you like it a bit easier and don't really want to deal with uh, leveling up your stats uh, in a very specific way for each character then go with the switch version but if you like the idea of just customizing all of your stats if you want to like have Solange be super offensive or defensive or make Zozo super speedy even though she's supposed to be a slow character uh, you could do that in the 3ds version you can't in the switch version so uh, yeah get code princess it's amazing it's one of my favorite games ever and it's not rare it's just the you're probably not gonna find a new copy or any copy in stores nowadays because it came with a soundtrack and art book originally you didn't have to pre-order it together that's the whole reason i got it back in the days because it came with a art book and soundtrack without needing a pre-order i just saw it on the shelf at GameStop and i was like yeah this looks cool it comes with stuff uh so that was the reason i did that and um yeah that's how i got the game and i hope you all check it out if you can it's still going to be available in physical form, but it's just not as easy to find. So go ahead and get it on 3DS if you can. Or Switch. Or both. Both is good. Uh, let's try this again. Top... Oh god. Guys, which one was it? Is it top again? I was about to do middle, but I'm like, I did that twice already. I keep messing up. What is it? Have you been paying attention? Did it get a European release? I'm 99% sure it did. Say, people are saying bottom. And I know for th okay, thank you. And then for this one, I know it was number two. There we go.
yeah, I think it does have a North American or European release, excuse me. Something I've been meaning to get, I kind of want, there's a statue they made of Solange. I think of the story is that the whole reason the game exists in the first place is because the creator saw a statue of this anime girl and he thought that the design was so incredibly amazing that she deserved her own game all to herself. And that's where Code of Princess was born. So the character existed before the game. It was just like generic anime character. And she became her own thing. So that, but that statue now exists as a Code of Princess product. I want it, but like A, money, and B, I would get a lot of questions for anyone who like visited and saw that statue in my room, basically. We'll just leave it at that. Oh, look how happy this thing is. It's a happy little sponge kelp thing. Look at this friend. That is a friend shape if I've ever seen one. It's also an alley statue. It's not as expensive or lewd, I guess you could say. I was hoping there'd also be a Zozo, a Zozo and a Lego statue, but it doesn't look like it. Wouldn't it be crazy if Solange was in Smash? I would lose it. So stinking much. They wanted me to replicate the shape? How? Does a power up make me look like that shape somehow? Look at all this jank. I know I'm one hit away from dying, so I should probably fight. He just shot himself up my butt. I hate when that happens. Oh, by destroying the blocks in the other room. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, he's angry that he didn't do it. Sorry, bud. We ain't going for 100% in here. What do you think this is? A let's play? Uh, yeah. Up next is the boss. Is it another happy whale? Happy whale! Ow! I thought I was gonna be able to ride him. He looks so friendly. How am I already at one stinking health? Gooey, you could fight this guy for me, right? He just. he vomited babies out of his mouth. And anchors. And a skull. And I can't use my parasol underwater. Great. Gooey, you could do it. Come on, Gooey. The not-so-happy whale. Oh, I could squirt him. I could squirt the boulders at him. That's some powerful squirting. Oh! Let's try this again. Actually, this is giving me flashbacks of the water boss in Tropical Freeze, and I take it back. I don't think I want to get that game again. Did not mean to summon Gooey. Oh, I know something we could talk about. So, 
I don't actually have Disney Plus yet. I just sort of borrow it from other people when I get the chance. And I finally saw Lamp Life, uh, which is like a little short that they did showing what Bo Peep was up to in between the events of Toy Stories 2 and 4, basically. Acros, or orcas spelled backwards, okay, cool. Sorry, I was reading, trying to dodge at the same time. Um, so I saw Lamp Life, it tells you like where Bo Peep was before Woody found her. And after seeing that, I could say without hesitation that Toy Story 4 is the absolute worst movie in the Toy Story series. I was already like contemplating that after I saw the movie, but this one, oh boy, if we're gonna go on a rant, <laughs> oh geez. Like, without question, obviously, it's the best one visually, because it's stinking the most recent Pixar film. The most recent Pixar film is always the best one visually. But, my god. Everything, like, everything that the first three movies represented about, like, staying together and never giving up on your kid and everything like that, it just gets completely... Oh, no, 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 Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. I won't talk about it then. I'm so sorry. I should have done a spoiler warning, but hopefully, hopefully I didn't say anything too much right there. Basically, me no likey. That's all I'm gonna say. But thank you, thank you so much for telling me that because spoilers are super important to me. Like, if you want to make me super stinking angry real quickly, spoil something. Okay, good. I was worried about that, but uh, we won't talk about it then. Uh, I saw some other Pixar shorts though of. Uh, they have these things called spark shorts. Oh, I could squirt those things. I didn't think I could. Um, I saw some other Pixar shorts where... Uh, they're called spark shorts. It's, it's just sort of like experimental things done by like... Animators in training or like storytellers in training or whatever like that. But it's unreal just how stinking good those are. Like... There's one of them, it's called Float. And there's more cultural representation in the first minute of that one short than there is in like the entire Pixar main movie library, which is very sad, but um, it it was incredible just seeing, there's only five worlds in this? That's probably gonna be like a secret six one or something like that.